In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a particle logo animation inside of After Effects using Trapco particular plugin. Let's create a new composition and name it Logo. Then drag the logo to the timeline. Press S and adjust its scale if you need that. Then create a new composition by clicking this button and name it Main. Click OK. Then drag the logo composition into here. Click on Toggle Switch Modes until you see this column right here. Make it 3D by checking the box and hide it from here. Then right click, New Solid. I'm naming it Particles. And go to effects and presets and search for particular then add particular to the particle solid layer now let's head over to the effect controls open up emitter settings set particles per second to 10,000. emitter type to layer then set velocity to zero and emitter size z to 50. open layer emitter drop down and for the layer let's select the logo composition i'm going to scroll forward a bit so we can see the particles then right click in the empty space new camera then right click new null object and make the null object 3D by checking the box. Then click and drag the camera's pick whip tool from here. Just drag it and drop it onto the null one to parent the camera to our null. Then select null one and press R to open up rotation. Then set X rotation to 75 degrees and Y rotation to minus 45 degrees to get this angle. Now I'm going to move to the beginning of the timeline and create keyframes for X and Y rotation. Then go to move to five seconds, set X rotation to 45 degrees and Y rotation to 25 degrees. Then click and drag selecting all the keyframes, right click on any of them, keyframe assistant is ease or you can press F9 as a shortcut. This will essentially smoothen out the animation. Now we can continue working on the particles layer, select the particle solid, go to edit, duplicate or press Control D as a shortcut. I'm going to rename the bottom particles to dust, then select the layer, go to effect controls and set particles per second to 1000. Then open up particle settings, set life to 2 seconds and life random to 100%. Then open up size over life drop down, click on presets and select the second preset. Then scroll down to physics settings, open that up, go to air, set wind Z to 200. This will give us sort of dust particles falling down of our logo. And then again, I'm going to select the particle solid layer, go to edit, duplicate, and I'm going to rename the duplicated particles layer to lines. Then select it, go to effect controls, and set particles per second to 500. Then I'm going to scroll down to physics settings, open up air, and set wind Z to negative 500. Then open up turbulence field and set effect size to 25. Then scroll down to the arc system, open that up, set image to continuously, Set particles per second to 200 and live to 1 second. Then set color from main to 100% to get the same colors as your logo is. Then open up opacity over life, click on presets and again select the second preset. And turn on motion blur for the lines layer. You can quickly preview the animation here. Then go ahead and then right click in the empty space, new adjust layer, and place this adjust layer above all three of our particle layers. Then go to effects and presets and search for glow. Then add stylized glow to the adjustment layer. I'm going to change the glow radius to 50 and that should be enough. Then right click new solid. I'm going to name it BG and place it below every other layer. Go to effects and presets and search for ramp. Add gradient ramp to the BG layer. I'm going to set start of ramp in the exact center and end of ramp in any other corners. Set ramp shape to radial. For the end color, I'm choosing pure black. And for the start color, a dark purple. Also set ramp scatter to 100. That's it for the background. Let's now right click new solid. I'm going to name it flare. Then go to effects and presets. Search for flare. And add lens flare to the flare solid layer. Then click on toggle switch mode until you see the mode column. It says flares mode to screen. Then click on the lens type drop down and select 105mm prime. After that, go to effects and presets. And search for tint. Add tint to the flare layer. Then open map white to and choose any color that you like. Well, I suggest you choose something that matches the scene, so purple in my case. Then I'm going to select the flare and zoom out to 25%. I'm going to place the flare center to the top left corner. Then I'm going to move to the beginning of the composition and create a keyframe for flare center. Then go to 5 seconds and drag the center across to the other corner. Then press U to see the keyframe, select them both and press F9 to easily ease them. That will give us an animated flare that acts as a light source. Then I'm going to right click and use solid. I'm going to name this one Jaws. Then go to effects and presets and search for CC Jaws. Then add this to the Jaws solid layer. Set completion to 100% and height to 0. Then move to the beginning and create keyframe for completion. Go to 1 second and set completion to 75%. Then press U to see the keyframes, select them both and press F9 to easily ease them as well. This will create animated cinematic lines on the edges. And we're pretty much done here, so let's preview the animation. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome particle logo animation inside of After Effects using Trapco particular plugin. If you found this tutorial useful and learned something new, please give this video a like. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.